dear students here we have a question paper problem under the topic successive approximations now from the given question it is given that y dash is equals to x plus y and the initial condition is y of 0 equal to 1 the question is we have to find the first four approximations by using the Picard method so it is uh, the we have already seen uh, how to find the successive approximations for an initial value problem so from that f of x comma y is y dash which is x plus y and using the initial condition we understand that the value of y naught is equal to 1 so y of z y naught is actually equal to y of 0 which is equal to 1 so y naught is 1 and the value of x naught is the value that we have taken here so that is x naught is equal to 0 so now next we have to find the approximations now first approximation will be phi naught of x which is equal to y naught so what is y naught given here it is 1 so the first approximation is 1 so therefore the first approximation phi naught of x is equal to 1 so now to evaluate the next uh, next approximations we used to we have to use that phi k plus 1 of x is equal to uh, y naught plus integral x naught to x f of t comma 5 k of t dt now what is f of phi uh, t comma phi k of t we will evaluate so now here instead of x and y we have to put uh, t comma phi k of t so f of t comma phi k of t so that will be equal to so at the place of x we have to put t plus at the place of y we have to put phi k of t so substituting all this again in phi k plus 1 of t we will have phi k plus 1 of x to be equal to y naught is 1 so 1 plus integral what is x naught x naught is 0 so 0 to x f of uh, t comma phi k of t we have found here which is t plus phi k of t dt so now next we have to give values for k and find the appro successive approximations so first we have to put k equal to 0 so if we put k equal to 0 we get the first approximation phi 1 of i mean second approximation phi 1 of x which is equal to 1 plus integral 0 to x t plus phi k of t so what is k k is 0 now so phi 0 of t so what is phi 0 of t that is the first approximation that is phi 0 of x is 1 so therefore phi 0 of t will also be 1 so t plus 1 dt now on integrating this term we get this 1 plus integral i mean after integrating so t integration will be t squared by 2 plus t between the limits 0 and x substituting the upper limit and the lower limit we get phi 1 of x to be equal to 1 plus x squared by 2 plus x so this is the second approximation phi 1 of x now we shall find the third approximation by putting k equal to 1 so we get here if we put k equal to 1 we get phi 2 of x to be equal to 1 plus integral 0 to x now t plus phi k of t so that will be t plus phi k of t the value of k is 1 so k phi 1 of t but what is phi 1 of t just now we have evaluated here we have found phi 1 of x so phi 1 of t will be 1 plus t squared by 2 plus t dt so now this will be equal to 1 plus integral 0 to x adding the term 2t plus 1 plus t squared by 2 now on integrating this we get uh, i'll write it here so that's that will be equal to 1 plus so on integrating 2t we get 2t squared by 2 plus t plus t cube by 
6. So now on simplification we get 2 and 2 gets cancelled and so this will be equal to 1 plus t squared plus t plus uh, t cube by 6 and this is between the limits okay so between the limits 0 and x 0 and x so on substituting what do we get is phi 2 of x the upper limit on substitution we will have x squared plus x plus x cube by 6 so this is the third approximation phi 2 of x in a similar way we have to find the fourth approximation phi 3 of x so that i have shown here finding the uh, next approximation by putting k equal to 2 so we will have phi 2 of t here so substituting phi 2 of t and then integrating and applying the limits we obtain phi the fourth approximation phi 3 of x to be this so hence we have found all the four approximations of the given problem. Hope you have understood this. Thank you.